So, Dr. Kauke, what's your work here? So in my lab, we make use of the fruit fly to model motor neuron disorders. And these are a group of conditions which are very devastating. Particularly, we are interested in spinal muscular atrophy, which is, we can say, the little sister of ALS. Now, everyone knows what ALS is because of the ice bucket challenge, all right? This disease is quite similar to ALS, except that it affects children. And it is the result of a genetic fault that results in low levels of a particular protein, which we, we term survival motor neuron, or SMN. Now, low levels of this protein in the nerves which supply the muscles of the limbs, and also the muscles that control breathing, cause these nerves, we call them motor neurons, to die. And when they die, the muscles, they just become weak, they become paralyzed, and they stop functioning well. So these children, unfortunately, are restricted to a life in a wheelchair. Yes, but I was wondering what all this has got to do with the label that I saw outside your laboratory door. It's, it's called a fly lab. It is, a indeed, it is indeed a fly lab. <gasps> Flies are amazingly similar to humans in terms of biology and genes. In fact, a recent survey showed that 75, more than 75% of genes which are linked to a human disease in humans have a counterpart, a similar version, in the fly. Now, why do we use the fly to model motor neuron disorders? Because the fly is a very mobile creature. So, if it has a defect in the brain or in the muscle, the flies will stop being mobile, okay? They will not do any um, aerobics anymore, <laughs> all right? And basically, our fly models of SMA, they just cannot fly. And uh, indeed, I can show you here, all right? Here we have uh, some wild-type flies, and these, if, you, if I remove the plug, they're going to fly away, all right? <laughs> they're flying, they're flying. But if I show you a fly which have a defect in the gene which causes SMA, you will see that it actually cannot fly. There it is, yes. So there it is, is a fly which cannot fly. So by understanding actually the molecular defects of such fly, we hope to solve one of the most catastrophic of human disorders. It's amazing. And to think that when I see them in the kitchen, I swat them. You shouldn't, because they are making history. history. <laughs>